Hey, how you doing? This is Dave with the Shepherd School. And the other day I had my generator out and I made it an electric start. Uh, and that's great, but I did not show you actually starting the thing because I said I was about to convert it to propane. And uh, before I show you how we did it, let me tell you why we did it, right? So, um, if you've got a generator, you got to have gas, right? Well, gas is hard to store, right? Because when the temperature gets hot outside in the summertime, all the uh, uh, volatile organic chemicals evaporate out. You got the big bulge in your tank. Well, that's the stuff that makes the thing run. So as you store gas, it gets harder and harder to, uh, to use. The quality goes down, especially with the ethanol gas that we get now because it attracts water, right? It also gums up and, uh, and uh, tars up your carburetor. Which is why I got this generator for so cheap off of Craigslist, because the guy bought it brand new, like $800 or something like that. Ran it one time, stored it with the tank full of gas, and the carburetor gummed up and was shot, basically, right? So I bought it for $200, which is a great deal for me, not so much for the guy that bought it. Uh, so when you have gas and you store your generator with gas, you've got to take precautions. The stable fuel stabilizer stuff doesn't really work with ethanol gas. Um, when you run the thing out of gas, right, you got a power outage or you're working on the land or whatever, you run the thing out of gas, you got to let it cool before you pour gas in it. Because if the gas gets on the hot engine, you start a fire, burn your stuff up, right? Um, you know, carrying around liquid gas that doesn't store well, just, just myriads. Gas is a problem. But with propane, the tanks are easy to store, they're easy to change over. Right, um, it runs a little hotter. The ignition temperature is a little hotter. You got to be a little more careful about running it too lean or too rich. But once you get everything adjusted right, um, I just take the propane tank. I run it out of gas. Unscrew the propane tank. Screw another one in. Turn the valve on. Bam! I'm ready to go. Right. If I even wanted to get fancy, I could plumb the thing into a to a big house tank or run multiple little tanks. Right, like you do on a boat. Um, so. For me, propane is, is much easier. Uh, I did change the spark plug out to get a new spark plug because, uh, as I said, spark uh, uh, takes a hotter spark to ignite the propane. I put a new air filter in just because the old air filter was uh, bad. But converting this thing over only cost about 250 bucks, and it only took me about 40 minutes of actual mechanicing time. It took me a little longer on the adjustments, but uh, this makes it much easier. Um, much better. My wife can run it. Makes me feel a little more com comfortable because all she's got to do is just turn the uh, on valve on the propane tank and hit the start button on my generator. She doesn't have to worry about having fuel, running out to get fuel. Um, I can buy propane tanks and chain them together so I don't have to worry about people stealing them. Um, you know, siphoning gas, those sorts of things. It's a lot safer in a fire, right? Um, just, just all around better. So let me show you how we actually converted the thing. 